Okay, so this Nico broke its chain and they had a service company come out and reinstall the chain, but that chain keeps getting stuck, keeps getting caught. So there's a, there's a spacer bar here, which I'm gonna push all the way in the up position to tension a rod. You can see this is the one that they replaced. Look at all the slop on here. So the idea is when this tensioner bar moves down, okay, it's all the way down, that this is now tight. Look, so we're gonna have to cut at least a link out of here. I'm gonna start just by cutting it open one link and then assessing whether I need to go one or two. So sit tight. All right, this thing was a freaking monster. But look, we got her on. We got her on the tensioner and look how there's no slop. That's how it's supposed to be. We're gonna let her run for a little bit now, see what happens while I'm putting it back together. There's a lot going on with this unit. This, uh, this plate here is dented down, which isn't helping because that creates a, a lower spot in here. But, all right, I just want to listen. I turned the gas off, so it's not going to light. Um, so we can just let it run and I can listen to it for a while. See what she does. They also said they've been having a hard time sliding this burner in. Look at that. What's up with that? Okay, so she's up and running. Something else I've noticed is that it's set for 720. Um, I'll be shocked if that's the correct set point. You've got to calibrate these every year. You set it for a thousand and you let it run for like 45 minutes. And then whatever it hits, uh, I'll have to look at the document. I'm not certain on the remembering, but whatever it hits, you set the set point like 25 degrees lower than that. And there's no way this thing hit 750. Most of my other locations are set for more like 620 or 630. So we'll see.